Hello and welcome to Math 200 Online Statistics at Kenyatta College. My name is Ray Lapus. In this video, we'll do a homework problem from section 10.3. It says that the data show the time intervals after an eruption of a certain geyser, and they want us to find the regression equation, letting the first variable to be the independent variable and they want us to find the best predicted time for an interval eruption that is given the current eruption has a height of 96 feet. They want us to find the regression equation and do that uh, prediction so let's get this on our stat crunch or our clipboard and paste it onto our Google Sheets. Now we're really just focused on the intercept and the slope uh, to find our equation of a line <clears throat> but in the process we're also going to need to find our correlation coefficient and so uh, to find a correlation coefficient um, we're going to use this Corel function. Um, well, let's do this in order and find our intercept first. We'll say equals intercept and open parentheses. Now it's really important to get the Y list first uh, because that's what they asked for in the intercept and the slope. If you switch them then you're going to get a different value and so we want to make sure that the Y list goes first and then the X list. And we got a 17.2166 for the intercept and then the slope. We'll say equals slope open parentheses again the Y list goes first and then the X list and then we get our values. So remember that the slope is the number that goes next to um, next to the variable. So let's go back to our problem and we have a number here um, plus some other number times x so the number next to the x is going to be our slope so I copied my slope I just pasted it and rounding off to two decimal places uh, this is our third decimal place so two decimal places would just be 0.52 uh, now let's figure out our y-intercept and that's 17 So let's paste 17, again round off to two decimal places, so that's going to be 17.22. Alright, now what's the best predicted uh, interval for something that happens in 96 feet? Um, <clears throat> so that's going to be the input that goes in here. Well, first we have to check to make sure that there is correlation and if there is correlation usually with a p-value. Uh, so let's run down uh, all these other values. Uh, we can see if r is really really close to 1 or negative 1 then there is correlation or if it's really close to 0 then there's no correlation. Uh, but to be sure about how close we want it in finding our benchmark with the significance level um, then we're going to need to make sure that um, we can just eyeball it by using our p-value. So let's go through the process. Um, our n is going to be count. We're going to count the number of values that we have, numerical values. Again, we can just eyeball it and say, oh, this is going to go from 2 to 9, so there's 8 of them. Uh, but the count is a nice simple function. Our degrees of freedom is going to be n minus 2. Again, could have done that in your head, but let's use this formula. Our Corel function, C O R R E L, for the correlation. Our y value list goes first, and then our x value list. And we got a 0.789, so that is pretty strong correlation. Um, but again, let's use our p value as a marker. Our SR, 
is going to be the square root. So we'll say equals SQRT and then we have a 1 minus R squared. We just found our R and we'll square that. We need a parentheses around the numerator so let's go back and add the parentheses around the numerator and our denominator is n minus 2 uh, which is 8 minus 2 or 6 and we can just click on the degrees of freedom for 6 and then we'll close that up and get a value for the denominator and to find our test statistic is going to be um, R minus R divided by SR. So we'll say equals, we'll click on R divided by SR. And we got a test statistic of 3. Now that looks like it's fairly small, which or fairly large away from 0, so that might be uh, a pretty good correlation, but again we'll do the p-value which is a t dot d i s t dot two t which is two tails and we'll click on our test statistic comma our degrees of freedom and got 0 0.019 so they want us at a 0 0.05 level so this is less than uh, so there is correlation let's just make a note of that there is correlation. Um, <clears throat> so at a 0 0.05 significance level. To do our prediction, uh, if there is correlation, if the p-value is less than alpha, there is correlation. And so we're going to use the equation of our uh, regression line. So our prediction value is for 96 feet. So let's make a note of that, 96 feet. And uh, to do this calculation, we'll say equals. It's going to be the y-intercept plus the slope times the x value that we found, 96 and it looks like it's going to be 67.222 so a little bit more than an hour we round this off to one decimal place so 67.2 alright I hope that helps